Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2020 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Black Edition. A little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Canso. I'm standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards. We've got through about 180 vehicles on any given month, making us one of the largest pre-owned vehicle departments here in Queensland. As you can see just in there, we've actually got our showroom where we photograph each and every vehicle as they come through onto the yard. And quite a variety of vehicles here at our main yard, located just near DFO of Cairns. As you make your way down towards the city though, you will come across our second pre-owned vehicle yard. And across the road there, you got the brand new part of Toyota and Lexus with the parts and services attached just out the back. Throughout the video though, I'll be going around the Eclipse Cross here in complete detail, just pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale. So what we'll do, we'll start down around the front end here. Nice clean straight front end. Just checking these uh, blacked out alloy wheels for you, making sure there's no scratching or gutter rash. See part of that black edition and plenty of depth in those tire tread. Now that is part of that roadworthy certificate, which is included in that driveway price advertised for here in Queensland. So we'll make our way around the front though, nice and tidy. Just keep an eye out for any dense scratching stone chips. Try and find any of these little imperfections to point out for you. Yeah, you got one little stone chip just there, very minor. Now they are to be expected being a pre-owned vehicle, but in these videos we do like to be completely transparent. Across the bonnet there, nice and straight, no dings, dents, scratching. Very clean and tidy. Down that passenger side, give you a nice good angle. We'll cover each panel as we go. A little bit of dirt just pulling away there. So it does get a final detail before delivery. Again, on that passenger front, nice and tidy, no scratching or gutter rash on the alloy. And plenty of depth in the tire there. So we make our way down, so you've got the blacked out side mirrors. Again, no damages or imperfections. Just double checking, uh, see if these are any scratches or stone chips. So we've got one little minor one just here on that passenger door. Like I said, we do like to be completely transparent in these videos. Uh, you've got your button here for that keyless entry. And as we make our way down that passenger side, we can see it's very clean and tidy. No major dings or dents, just that one little minor marking on that passenger door. Well, on the passenger rear, again, no scratching or gutter rash. And again, plenty of depth in that tyre. So good to see that consistency as we're making our way around the vehicle. Around the back end here, nice and straight and tidy. No major dings or dents. Now around the back you do have your proximity sensors. Built-in reverse camera that we'll see in action shortly. Now, normally you do see a few uh, chips or chunks taken out of the back bar here. Good to see this one's nice and tidy, no damages. And obviously that brake light bar across the back there, that unique Eclipse Cross design. But as we have a look inside while we're back here, they do actually have a cargo mat back here, adding that extra protection through the back end, but just double checking, they're not trying to hide anything. This vehicle's just been very well looked after, which is great to see. The plastics, no damages, no cuts or anything across the carpet there at the back of the seats. And just double checking, we do have our spare wheel with our jack and tools underneath. Beautiful. We'll now make our way down the driver's side for you. Again, just giving you a really good angle, but keep covering each panel as we go. Just checking that fourth and final wheel. Got one little marking just here on that driver's side rear. And again, plenty of depth in the tyres. So. Overall, excellent condition. Just that one little marking out of four wheels is always good. Driver's rear door, you got a little mark just there. Now they can be brush touched by a paint perfectionist, color coded to the vehicle and then touched up uh, if that is a requirement as uh, part of the deal. But as we can see back down that driver's side, nice and straight and tidy. So one marking on the wheels and about two or three little markings around the exterior. So immaculate condition. No major chips or cracks across the windscreen. Again, part of that roadworthy certificate. And the roof, nice and straight, no dings, dents, hail damage, nothing like that. 
Beautiful. We'll now go through the interior, make sure it's just as well looked after. So on the door cut, just make sure there's no wear and tear, scratching or damages. No cuts or scuff marks. Yeah, you do have the rubber floor mats back here as well. Again, just having a look underneath. Make sure it's nice and tidy, not trying to hide anything, just been looked after. The upholstery, no cuts, tears, cigarette burns, nothing like that. It's all in excellent condition, look like they've hardly been used. And nice and tidy across the roof as well. No damages or starting to sag. Driver's door, obviously the most frequently used, so if we are to see any wear and tear, it is likely to be on this one here. Got all your electric windows and central locking, your side mirrors, your electric folding side mirrors as well, which uh, also work with the locking of the vehicle. Nice and clean and tidy on the door cart. Rubber floor mats up front as well. Driver's seat, excellent condition, no damages or anything. So what we'll do, we'll jump in and start it up. Two keys. Push button start on the left hand side here. Beautiful. Down over the right though, we've got a few of our safety features like our pre collision, our traction control, proximity sensors at the back there we can turn off if need be. Uh, once we're in here on the right hand side of the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control. Uh, on the left hand side, you've got all your Bluetooth hands free uh, connected to the head unit. Uh, you do have your paddle shifts back here as well once you put it into that manual option uh, from drive and you also got things like all your auto lights and everything as well there so plenty of features as we can see though it's done 17,831 kilometers uh, we'll check that authenticity shortly with the service history um, but you can also have a bit of a playthrough uh, have this set up as you please from all your different fuel consumptions and everything as well um, and all your different trip meters beautiful Got a nice large touchscreen display up here. Bit of a tap around on it, make sure the touch part of it's working. At the end of the day, it's where that nice large reverse camera shows up, giving us great vision out the back there as well. Beautiful. As you make your way down, you've got your climate control air conditioning, and then you've got your eco USBs, 12 volt plugs just below. Like most nowadays in the manual, um, you've got a nice large uh, touchpad here. Uh, one of those eclipse cross features um, or you, a couple different buttons to go home and everything but also a nice little touch pad uh, as we can see this in action you know a bit of a flick through and use it from the um, pad down there as well so a few different ways to operate the head unit making it nice and accessible but up front as we can see very clean and tidy like the rest of the vehicle's been good to see that consistency as we go throughout the video the dash though no fading no cracking not starting to go sticky or anything. Got all of our books in here. Have a bit of a look at the service history one for you. So as we can see, it had its check done at 1,500 and then its first service done just about 13,000 there. So next one's not due till about 30,000 K. So you got a little while to your next service, which is always good to see. Last but not least though, we will jump out, have a look underneath the bonnet while she's still running for you. So as we have a look underneath, making sure she's nice and clean and tidy. No rust, no red dust build up, not like you would expect it on a vehicle like this, but always good to be double checking. As we hear that compressor stopping and starting, it's just the AC uh, working as hard as it can here in Cairns. Being in the middle of summer, but still running beautifully. No major knocks, rattles or squeals. But a vehicle like this in such immaculate condition does not last long, so I do look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.